One of the most fascinating ways to visit French Polynesia is aboard the Aranui 5, a combination cruise ship and freight vessel. These days, two giant cranes mounted on the bow of the ship easily offload freight. Tino, the freight manager for the company, told me a little bit about what it was like in the early days aboard Aranui 1 and 2. So with Aranui 1 and 2, there is no dock, you know, and all the fret, when you load in the fret on the, on the land, it just that uh, you feel that you can care everything. What else what, what the fret, you know? Don't, there is cement, there is a flower, bag of flour, there is the car. Everything by hand? Yes. And you didn't have any forklifts? No. Now no. you have four little forklifts and one big one. Right? Yeah, yeah. And they go in the ship. Yeah. That's amazing. Yes, That's amazing. amazing. When we set sail, the ship was really loaded. The top deck was covered by refrigerated cargo containers, topped by fishing boats and barges used to haul freight in places where there still are no docks. Where there are more modern facilities, those two cranes are put to work hauling freight directly out of the hold onto the ground. At our first stop in the Marquesas, seamen offloaded drums of diesel fuel, frozen foods for the local stores, and even appliances which the locals arrived to pick up. Once the offloading was complete, the locals reversed the process, carrying giant sacks of copal, basically dried coconut, into bins where the tractors loaded them on the barge bound for the Aranui 5. One day, rather than go ashore, I stayed behind and watched from the sky bar where I could see the entire freight operation that afternoon. First, the refrigerated containers were removed from the deck. Then the massive deck itself was lifted up until it stood vertically in the air, revealing the hold below. First out of the hold was a bundle of what looked to be telephone poles. I held my breath through this process. They appeared to be slippery devils, and I really thought that a few of them were going to come unhinged at one point. But the crane operators are expert on this ship, and they really know what they're doing. Next, a pretty healthy sized fishing boat came out.
The forklift operators are pretty slick too, but it certainly reinforced the idea of how hard it must have been in those early days when everything had to be done by hand or moved by small boat. With many of the larger items gone from the hold, the crane operator rearranges some of the cargo containers to make room for onboarding freight. Perhaps the craziest thing I saw loaded aboard the Aranui 5 was a live horse in an open cargo container. I looked for it again the next afternoon, but it was gone. I like to think of it happily munching grass on one of those beautiful Marquesan Islands. I may have seen a lot during my two-week cruise, but as for Tino, well, he's seen it all. How many years have you been doing this? 35 years. 35? I, walk, I am on the ship for 35 years. Uh, since the Aranui 1, I started in 1984. Until 2015, this is the date, the, the years that uh, I become, I was, I, I will enter I, and in uh, the team, team guy, you know? Yeah. Yes, yeah. this is my last time on the front. 2015, when this ship arrived in Tahiti. So, my the company would like that 
make me have a team of guys. So I feel better now because many years ago, many years I work, I work it like a, a sailor too, very hard. So imagine you have a little boat, boat. Now we have a barge. There's many difference, you know. And uh, we have just uh, six, six sailor in the two boats. Three wow. sailor each boat, three sailor boat. Sometimes I had, I go to help them because it's not evidence that the work that it's only two sailor helping. Helping the sailor, helping the population, that is my job.